pretty busy. That's probably the best way I can describe it. So there's a lot to do, but it's a lot of small things. So we're pretty confident we'll get to the competition. A lot of the work will start in uh, September. That's when a lot of the design work uh, kicks off. We've been actually manufacturing parts for the car since about April. Uh, that's when we started to kick off manufacture. Um, unfortunately, we had a few issues with suppliers, but um, it happens and we've dealt with it. So that's probably one of the reasons why we're in the situation we're in at the moment. The actual competition, like I said, it's very sociable. It's great fun. Uh, you learn so much because it's not just a case of you, it's you versus the judges. The judges actually give you a lot of feedback on how you can improve. And obviously, rolling on every year, you can only you can only improve really. This year, the aim has been to shed as much weight as possible. Last year it was 282.5 kilos. This year we we're aiming for sub 200 kilos, and I know that's a lot. The best team last year had a car weighing 149.5 kilos, so we're still a long way from them. But we're a lot better than we were last year. So last year we had a massive aluminium plate at the back that we mounted the suspension, the differential, and the engine from. This year we have made a little thin aluminium bridge, saving a lot of weight. Likewise, we've gone for smaller wheels, which has adjusted the uh, suspension geometry and made things a lot more difficult in that respect, but we've saved an awful lot of weight. We've designed new uprights, which is where the wheel bolts to the suspension. And overall, throughout the whole chassis, throughout every single component, we've taken a little bit of weight out. Even some of the big bolts that we used to clamp the wheels together were drilled out to save just those extra few grams, because every little bit does count to make sure that we have a nice, lightweight car.